Good morning guys. I'm going to be taking you through a full day of eating like you've been asking for. I'm four, like point four weeks out now and it's it's getting pretty rough. Um, but yeah, you guys asked for it, so here it is. Now, if you guys want to see all the supplements I'm taking, for sure, I'll make another video on this. But for now, I'm going to focus on, like, I'll call it the food because I am going to show you this concoction here. So, I'm getting all bundled up for fasted cardio. Let me find the best angle for this. So... In the morning, we want to get that protein synthesis going, especially when I'm doing fasted cardio. Even though I would only have stuff from the night before. This will help preserve muscle, I believe. So we got a BCAA mix. And then we get all juicy with some citrulline. One and a half scoops of that because the BCA mix actually has uh, citrulline in it as well. So I cut down a little bit. Whew. And then our glutamine. And I crush this and go do some cardio. I almost forgot because of my freaking prep brain, but. Got to weigh myself, 167.2, very nice, we're down about 0.8 of a pound since yesterday, so that's good, because I did plateau for a little bit, hopefully we get a nice refeed Sunday, so you love to see that weight coming down a little bit, but yeah. Now that I'm uh, all weighed in, I can drink this and hit some cardio. So I just hopped off the bike, I'm a little gassed. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a physique update cause I may as well, I gotta give one to my coach. So here's that. So yeah, keep in mind that's four and a bit weeks out. I'm flat right now because it's in the morning, but uh, yeah, shreds are coming in nicely. Like I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. Now we'll go get to the good stuff, the stuff you came for. Let's go eat meal number one. So here it is guys, meal number one. Three quarters of a cup of oatmeal, one egg and 250 grams of egg whites. Yeah, throw some Frank's Red on this. It's not bad. Something I love to do too, which you may find a little weird, is I Himalayan pink salt my oatmeal. Now it, may, it might sound gross to you, but when you're eating like this clean all the time, it makes the oatmeal so much better. Honestly, like meal number one, I can't even complain. It doesn't really fill me like I'm hungry after, but I do this thing where I like scoop up the eggs, right? You dip it in that little yolk sack that I have. Every bite, it's like a fatty bite of egg yolk. Like, I can't complain. It's honestly delicious. And then the oatmeal is just carbs. Like carbs at this point, oh man, so good. I'm thinking I may as well have some fun with this because I'm not including the macros and calories and all that. Because honestly, I don't know them. I just listen to my coach and everything's been working. Weight's been coming off. He literally calls it as it goes. Like he'll tell me this week, this is what's probably gonna happen. That's what happens. So I don't find there's a need for all, asking about all that, but I'm going to give a rating to every meal, but this is like a prep rating. So that to a normal person probably wouldn't be too great.
but breakfast is a solid 8 out of 10. That was quality. I, the yolk trick, man, that's what I'm telling you. That yolk trick makes all the difference. This is a point in my day where I play the waiting game between meals and I got my chicken defrosting. I have rice on cooking right now. My cod is soaking because I like salted cod. So I just wait, man. This is when I uh, respond to you guys, all your comments, your Instagram DMs, and just relax. I appreciate everyone who reaches out to me because you guys help keep me distracted, you know? Gives me something to focus on and do. And yeah, that's what I do for the next two hours-ish between these two meals. So we finally get to eat meal two. We got chicken in the oven right now. And this has just been microwave because I'm not cooking my meals fresh all the time. There's just no way I could deal with that. So I prep everything and just reheat it. And honestly, it keeps pretty well. If you want to see how I cook my chicken, I'm posting a TikTok on it today. And uh, I think you guys will like it. It ain't like crazy good because it's still prepped chicken, but it's good enough. So what I do for this meal is of course heavily salted, but I mix the sweet potato and the chicken with every bite. And the sweet potato is like a sauce. It makes it so much better. So that meal's okay. Like the sweet potato really carries it through cause like it tastes pretty sweet when you're prepping. But at the end of the day, it's not that great. I give it like a six and a half, seven, like around that range. Cause really it's just a sweet potato and some plain chicken. <laughs> now I'm not eating the exact same thing every day, but this meal right here by far is my favorite meal out of every meal I eat. I can't wait to show you guys. Voila, it looks amazing, right? Now I'm just playing, it'll look a lot better when I mix it up and uh, put a tablespoon of olive oil on it. So here it is. It's six ounces of beef, a cup of rice, and a handful of spinach with salt. It's actually like really good. Oh yeah, and that tablespoon of olive oil. It's definitely a filling meal. Ah, like uh, nothing really fills you, you know, but compared to other meals, it's quite filling and it tastes so good. Like I'm eating this after prep for sure. This is a great meal. I always look forward to it. It's so delicious. I'm just gonna rate it right now. 10 out of 10 prep rating. Absolutely amazing. Extra lean ground beef, by the way. I forgot to add that in, but oh man, definitely hits the spot. I'm gonna eat this, go smash a high volume leg day. And I'll get back to you guys with meal number four. All right, so about to kill this leg day. We got Gavin in the back there. You already know we got no shoes. It's the only way to hit leg day. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Look at your waist, man. Holy yeah. shit. Look how small that is. God damn. So I just got done with leg day. And now we're about to hit abs. So I just got some BCAAs into me for intra workout. We're going to go crush this out and then get to meal number four. Hey guys, we're eating this next one in my room. So we just got done with abs. And man, three workouts in one day, that takes it out of you. So I can't wait to wolf this down. We have chicken and broccoli. But that was the rice. See, prep brain, man, like ain't, ain't firing right. But that's, uh, that's half a cup of rice, six ounces of chicken. And then we have broccoli and cucumber behind me here. Get that in the shot. Uh, yeah, I put mustard on the chicken for this meal because this meal is kind of sad. It's definitely not good. Uh, the, the salted cucumber is kind of nice, but no, it's definitely not my favorite meal. And I give it like a 4 out of 10. There's low carbs, mostly just chicken and vegetables. That's no fun, you know? I just wanted to take this time to say, if you guys are enjoying this video, please leave a like and comment what I can do better. Like... I want to make this the best for you guys. I'm actually having a lot of fun shooting this video. So yeah, let me know where I can improve on and if you guys are liking it. Also, whatever you guys want to see next. Like, I want to make content for you guys. So whatever you want to see, I'm game for. As the sun begins to set, I'm going to go eat my last meal. I'm just going to practice posing for a bit. My technique's gone down pretty well. I'm going to go see my coach in the next coming days to fine tune everything. But right now, this is for posing endurance. So I make sure I can hold those poses, make them look effortless. So we can bring it home gold, baby. You guys know the drill if you're from TikTok. We got the Olympia plan. And when they turn, I turn.
I definitely got to work on like the smoothness of the transitions and like the fluidness. Are those words? I think so. Anyway, uh, yeah, now let's go eat meal number three. I just took him that I called this meal meal number three. This is meal number five. I'm happy I did that because that sums up how well my brain is firing right now. Ridiculous. So again, we're eating in my room. This isn't a normal thing. It's just a TV's on. So I don't want that in the background of the videos. But here is my next meal. So that's six ounces of cod, um, a bell pepper, like most of a bell pepper, the equivalent to a cup, and half an avocado. I threw Frank's Red on it today because honestly, I'm exhausted at this point in the night. And today has been a very long day. So I think I deserved a little Frank's Red on top of it. It's literally zero calorie, but yeah, I'm gonna eat this thing and then I'll get back to you guys. It's funny cause I just threw these rating things in to like, like spur the moment. And now I'm actually like really thinking about it. I'm gonna go with a five on this one because the avocado is a big elevator. That's for sure. It, it tastes like straight up butter at this point, but yeah, the, the Bell pepper in the cod isn't much. No carbs, man. Ugh, no carbs. So now this is the end of my night right before I have my last meal. Because I have my last meal and go right to bed so I don't get hungry before I go to sleep. But the boys are coming over. They're on their way back from the bar. So they're going to come swing by and hang out with me. I hop in the hot tub for about 30 minutes. Like on and off. Depending on how hot I get. Stretch and really recover. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go do that with them. I don't wanna wake anybody, but here's my last meal. 15 grams of peanut butter. So I'm just gonna scoop that out and eat it off camera. And then there's a second part of the meal that I'll show you guys when I'm upstairs. Here it is to end the night. Just two scoops away. I shake that up, drink it. I'm on my head to bed, cause if I get hungry, it's a long night. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to keep the content coming out and hopefully the quality gets better even though I'm just going to be de more depleted and depleted. But either way, it'll be super fun to track this up until the show. And I hope you guys enjoyed.